Hey everyone, before we start with the video this week, I just wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to the subscribers who responded to the poll that I posted last week and said that this week they would like the topic to be struck by hazards. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be involved in polls and other things that we do on the channel and also help me decide on what content to post next. Next, just so you know, this Toolbox Talk video that I'm going to show you is included in our annual Toolbox Talk membership, which is a collection of over 120 Toolbox Talk videos. So you can easily send out a Toolbox Talk video to your workforce every single week. Lastly, it's also a part of our full length training, which I'll link both of those in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety, and in today's video, we're gonna be learning about struck by hazards and how you can identify and prevent these incidents from occurring. As the name implies, struck by injuries and fatalities result from a person being struck by an object or a piece of equipment. There are countless potential struck by hazards in the workplace but let's distill the list down to the four most common ones, along with examples of each to better illustrate how these incidents can occur and how you can protect yourself. Number one, struck by flying objects. Accidental nail gun discharges, flying debris, broken grinding wheels, or the tipped flying off a saw blade are all examples of flying item injuries. Power tools should never be used without their protective shields or guards. When there's a risk of flying objects, wear safety glasses, goggles for liquids, or a face shield when using power tools with the potential for flying objects. Accidents with nail guns are one of the most prevalent flying item dangers. When using a nail gun, stay out of the line of fire, even when on the other side of plywood or sheetrock. Accidents can still occur. Misfires have enough energy to go through plywood and gypsum board, striking a person on the other side. Number two, struck by falling objects. Struck by falling object injuries can range from demolition to tools and materials being dropped off exposed edges, trees or branches falling, trailer loads falling on pedestrians, all the way to a crane's load coming free. Anywhere that's in the line of fire for falling objects or loads should be taped off or cleared of pedestrian traffic to safeguard people from being hit by falling objects. Never stand under an unstable load or in the path of travel where one could fall. When doing overhead work, Tow boards or screens should be used to keep tools from falling and debris nets and catch platforms should be used to divert falling objects. Always check your environment and ask yourself, are you in the line of fire of falling objects? Number three, struck by swinging objects. Struck by swinging object hazards are those where the injury has been caused by an object that's not in free fall, but is still attached at one point. Whenever items are mechanically raised, if control is lost or the rigging breaks, they might swing uncontrollably. It's easy to be caught off guard by swinging movements, and the swinging cargo can strike before you have time to get out of the way. Windy circumstances can also increase this risk. What's worse? After being hit, it increases the possibility of falling to another level depending on the location. Loads can also slide from their riggings and hit workers in addition to swinging. To avoid slipping, loads must be appropriately rigged and secured. Number four, 
Number four, struck by rolling objects. When someone is struck by a rolling, moving, or sliding object on the same level as the worker, the term struck by rolling object is used. This includes situations where someone may be struck or ran over by a moving object or vehicle without being caught below it and in situations where a sliding object or equipment strikes the worker at the same level. An example could be a worker who is setting traffic cones being struck by a high-speed car, or a worker who is struck by an unmanned rail car while walking along a track during maintenance work. However, examples like the one we gave where an employee is injured or killed after not setting their own parking brake or lowering the blade on a piece of equipment are unfortunately common. There are countless ways that we can be struck by objects, but when you're looking around the job site, if you remember, flying objects, falling objects, swinging objects, and rolling objects, you will have a much better idea of where the hazards might be and how to prevent accidents.